This video reviews multiple ways to clear your Excel workbook sheets of its contents by using the Python library OpenPy Excel. Here is our testing document, and it contains three tabs. The first has a table of data with no additional formatting, styling, or charts. The two following tabs have the exact same table, but a chart and pivot table is included on both. Each tab will be tackled in a different manner to show how your choices affect what happens on the sheet. Here I am bringing in the workbook as WB and I select each worksheet individually, specifying the one I will be working with by adding the number after WS. I will be saving the work for each example as I progress through the different ways to accomplish this. This first example is going to directly alter the contents of each cell. I do this by using the worksheet's iter rows function, which allows us to work our way down the rows and access across the columns, the latter of which is accomplished in the inner for loop. Essentially, I am saying for each row, which I'm capturing with the row variable, I will access each cell in that row, which I am storing within the cell variable and I will be changing that value. This is done by accessing the value attribute of the cell and assigning it what I would like the cell to contain. To eliminate the contents of the cell, I assign the value of that cell to none. Let's run this block code and reopen the workbook to see what we were able to accomplish. And there we go. The entire table has been eliminated for the first worksheet. Let's now use this workflow for the second sheet. In example two here, we have the same block of code. This will unfortunately not work, as will become clear when I run this cell and open the workbook. You can see that both the chart and the pivot table are on the page, despite all of the data being gone. So let's check out another way to tackle this task. Instead of replacing the content of each cell, let's just delete the entire tab and then create a new one with the same name. The sheet in question is called Research Data EX2. I'll save that in the sheet to drop and create variable. I will then pass the worksheet to the workbook's remove function. Following that, I will pass the string contained in my variable to the create sheet method. These are the simple steps that it takes to drop and create a worksheet. So let's run this and reopen the workbook. And there you can see the worksheet has no content in it. The final example I will show you is to try deleting all of the columns. If you will remember, the third sheet looks exactly like the second. It contains the table of data, the chart, and the pivot table. I will pass the delete calls method all of the columns on my workbook that contain data. This is done by sending the delete calls method the first column designated by this one and the last column, which I can access with the worksheet's max column function. If you would like to learn more about deleting columns in general, I have a video on that topic, which you can watch by clicking on the link above or the link in the descriptions below. But for now, Let's run this and see what happens to our third worksheet. And just like the first attempt that we did on the second worksheet, the chart and the pivot table remain. The same result would occur if you were to try to delete the rows instead. So ultimately, it is up to you which method would work best for your use case, but I think deleting the sheet and then recreating a new one with the same name is the most effective and useful of the bunch. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video on removing the content of everything in a worksheet. If you found it helpful, do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you liked and what other features of OpenPy Excel, Python, or Excel you would like to see reviewed in future videos. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out.